Hey YouTube, what is up? Today's video, we're gonna be looking at Paradise, a new multiplayer map on Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, I recently just stopped playing this yesterday, so day one, I did not have the chance to play this, so I just got into a Saturday, which was yesterday, and uh, man, I'm actually super impressed. This might be one of the best maps released between, you know, even Cold War, you know what I'm saying? Including Cold War, this has been the, the best map released in the past two years you know what i'm saying so we're gonna be going through this map you know the the high and lows and, and see how it goes if you guys do enjoy this video you know don't forget to comment share subscribe and drop a like on this video subscribe if you're new i really will appreciate that anyway let's get into this video guys we're gonna be talking about how good this map is we actually dropped a 50 and 9 you got now it was a crazy gameplay you know me dropping a 59 kill gameplay now i usually don't do this type of commentary you guys but i wanted to go ahead and give you guys opinion talk to you guys about the map also gonna be doing a commentary video on the other map radar this is gonna be my next video so stay tuned that's coming out today as well now i was playing this map like crazy yesterday i think i put at least three to four hours just in this map i was dropping between 40 to 60 kill gameplays almost in every single match the thing about this map the layout on this map is actually pretty good you know you you got a low you know basement you got so many different directions that you can actually go through which is actually pretty good and it's wide open you know what i'm saying this is one of the things i like about this map because those low range weapons are pretty good for this map you know what i'm saying the automaton the at uh, stg 40 44 um any lmg weapon snipers pretty much every single weapon now as far as smgs man if you're gonna use the smg you're gonna have problems unless you get into a situation where you can actually rush and get at close range because i did try the type y100 and i was able to pick up some kills now my type 100 is now full level up so i had it i was in the situation where i couldn't pick up a lot of kills and the reason why was because it wasn't hitting, you know, it wasn't punching a lot of power. That's his name. You know, I, name I, I still have not got to set up a, a best class <laughs> setup with a Type 100. So once I get some of those attachments, I'm going to see how, you know, how it does. Uh, the M1928, I mean, I tried that one and I was dropping bodies, you know what I'm saying? The M1928 on this, on this map you know works because that one is like a mid-range smg as well so you don't really have to worry about that one is there other smgs that you had to shoot from close range but as far as you know uh, ars and things like that man you drop bodies on this map now some of the things that i like about this map is you know the environment you know what i'm saying it's just the sky is open you know you're not inside building you don't have that many rooms you know how many doors do you actually go in here how many doors do you have to break this is an open map you know what i'm saying you just running around shooting you climbing certain you know certain spots and that's it you pick up kills you know we got a lot of maps in vanguard where it's just so many doors you know what i'm saying so many doors you have to crack <laughs> you gotta break go through you know what i'm saying and then you have a lot of you know maps it's like buildings this map is just open as you can see right here i can go this way to the left or the right but either way i can't I, you, you can't sneak on people unless they allow you to sneak on them because all you got to do is read the map now in the beginning of the map if you press the option button you get to see the layup of the map you I, I believe you can actually see it prior to that and uh and then you, you get to see all the directions. As long as you're able to navigate and learn the map, which this map is so easy, as you can see right now, I'm on a 14 kill streak. I was almost trying to get a nuke. You know what I'm saying? If these guys didn't like pop behind me, because I think they spawned behind me at that point. I didn't read the map at that moment. I think we already swapped, you know, spawns. I was close to almost getting a nuke. Like, once I get to that 20, man, it's just a nuke right there. So. Um, as you can see, man, I can flank them this way, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's not a one way where you can just, man, I have to fuck, like freaking go straight forward in order for me to actually get to the enemies. 
So, in my opinion, this map is really good. I like the AVA more than the 6v6. The 6v6 in this map kind of seems a little slow. But, you know what, you guys? Like, sometimes it doesn't matter. Because it feel a little slower and it's not chaotic. You know what I'm saying? If you do the 12v12 on this map, oh my god. Like, yeah, you can pick up kills if you go in some of those uh, kill streaks. But, man, it's just chaotic. It's action freaking shooting all over the place you can see right there i got the top score already 43 kills i end up with 50 and 9 which is crazy it's pretty good especially it's for a 6v6 if i was playing you know ava or a 12v12 10v10 something like that i mean i would have picked up probably like 70 80 kills but i would say the good thing about this map is it's open the layup is is pretty good you got you know inside the the right side of the building on my right side you got the bunker over there the bottom bunker oh, is pretty good a lot of people That's don't really game. go to the bottom bunker but it's pretty nice if you want to get to the other side of the building and uh man right here you can use your you know your favorite weapons the stg 44 the automaton you know what i'm saying because a lot of you know a lot of maps that we got right now in call of duty vanguard you know it's it's, it's hard to use weapon with scope if people are rushing like crazy you know what i'm saying on this one man you can slow it down a little bit use your scope as you can see right here i'm nothing but low long range mid range to long range which is good that's the way i like it now as far as you know rushing you know gunning uh running gun i'm cool with that you know that's i like playing like that but that's when i want to use my my smgs when i want to use my assault rifles i want to have my distance so let me know you guys what do you guys think about this map in the comments down below now i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of this second gameplay it was okay i was popping off but uh you know it's right here as you can see 59 and, and you know the funny thing is you guys i did not get an mvp i was so surprised i didn't get an mvp the closest to me i think had like 27 kills and he, he got an mvp i'm like hold on i i, I got player of the game 50 and 9 and i didn't get an mvp so it is crazy when you actually don't get an mvp and you actually get a top score anyway as you can see right here man this is just like man if, if you're playing domination you know you can rank up a lot of kills it is so many ways that you can get to the enemy and it's hard to get spawn trapped it's hard to get spawn trap on this map. We got a lot of maps in Call of Duty Bingo where you get spawn trap. Man, if you're on one of the opposite side of, you know, the the team where your team is actually garbage and, and it's nothing but sweats on the other side of the you know, the other side, and uh you get spawn trap on some maps, on this map you're not gonna be dealing with that. If your team is doing bad, you can still do you know good yourself. Cause I've done it. You know what I'm saying? I've I would say the only bad thing about this map, like I said, you guys, is when you get a 6v6. If you get team deathmatch and 6v6, it is it takes way too long, you guys. I mean, I, I get into situations where I'm running around trying to find an enemy and I just can't. If you got teammates that they just drop enemies on one side and you're making your way that way and they're going to now spawn, you know, spawn switch on the opposite side, man. You now you gotta run all the way to the other side trying to pick up some enemies. So if you get on the team damage much in six and in six v six, man, you might as well leave. Like that's I recommend you guys just you know quit and jump into the next match because the matches are gonna take way too long. You know, you're trying to get you you're trying to get XP, level up your weapon, level up your operator. And you're just gonna take way too long for you to do that because the match the matches are just way too long. Trying to get kills is it takes way too long. And and to me, it just doesn't make any sense. Like the playlist is fine. I like the playlist that they have, you know, hard point, domination, and team deathmatch. I I have not seen kill confirm. I think they should have put kill confirm as well. I think it would have been, you know, a lot of fun to play kill confirm. Or man, even if it was like I don't think they had demolition yet, but like headquarters. You know what I'm saying? Put headquarters, because it's almost like hardpoint. Kill confirm and take away TDM 6v6. You take away TDM 6v6, man, we set. But anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this map, Paradise. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.